Hello and welcome. This is Scott at Mechsoft, and for the next few minutes, let's take a look at the profile milling capability found in RhinoCam. Using this demonstration part, I'm going to create two simple profiling operations, one to clean up the diameter of this boss, and the second one to finish profile the walls of this main pocket at full depth. So to get started, I'll choose RhinoCam, then the Machining Operations Browser, which comes up on the left of your screen. Notice I've already created four operations to face off the top of the part and rough out the two pockets. Now, as a note, before I created any of the machining operations, I predefined the containment regions that I will need. These are 2D shapes that define the regions to be machined. I've already used some of these predefined containment regions in the facing and pocketing operations, and will use them again as I create the profiling operations. So, to create the first profiling operation, I'll make sure I'm on the Program tab, select the two-axis pull-down arrow, and then the Profiling option. This brings up the Geometry Selection dialog. For the Containment Geometry, I will clear the list, then use the predefined region, which I have named Boss Top. Next, I'll select the tool. I want the 26 mm diameter end mill. Feeds and speeds, make sure I load those from the tool. The clearance plane, I like this option where the system checks the maximum or highest stock position and then I can add 6 millimeters to that for clearance moves. Let's go to the cut parameters. I want zero stock to clean up the walls completely. I want to make sure that the tool is climb cutting and for the cut side, since this is a closed shape, I'll choose this option for the cutter to start on the outside. For cut levels, the geometry was selected at the top of the boss. Make sure this option is set correctly. The total depth of cut down the wall is 12.7 millimeters, and I'd like the final level to be 2 millimeters to just clean up the base of the boss. That reduces the roughing depth to 10.7 millimeters. Let's take a look at the entry and exit. At the beginning of the path, I'd like the cutter to drop down in air and move sideways to engage the material. That's a 2D entry. First, a linear move, then roll into the material at a radius of 8 millimeters. At the end of the path, do the same thing, remain at the level of the cut, a 2D exit, roll off the material at a radius of 6 millimeters, then a short linear move to give the cutter more distance before retracting to the clearance plane. So I'll generate the path and everything looks good except that I would prefer to have the entry and exit off the part over here at the 180 position. To correct that, I'll go to the Objects browser, select Regions, then highlight the Boss Top region and choose the icon for Select Start Point. I'll then select the 180 position on the region which will redefine its start point there. Notice that when the region is modified, the operation is flagged with a red marker that indicates that it needs to be regenerated. So I will regenerate this operation, and now the entry and exit are where I want them. And as a good practice, I will rename this operation. Next, I'd like to profile the walls of this main pocket, doing two passes, a semi-finish pass and a finish pass, both at full depth. But this time I will modify the region start point first before creating the operation. I'll go to the Objects browser and select that main pocket region and then pick the new desired start point. Once that is done, I'll create a new profiling operation and select that main pocket region that I just modified. Now since the tool, the feeds and speeds, and the clearance plane will all remain the same, I'll go directly to cut parameters. Here I want the side stock to be zero on the final pass, climb cut, and since this is a closed region, I'll set the start point to be on the inside. To achieve two passes, I'll set the total cut width to be one millimeter, and set each step to be one millimeter. Cut levels. The cut region that was selected was at the top of the material to be removed. 
I don't know the full depth of cut, so I will use the built-in analysis function to measure the height of the wall using two points. Now I will generate the path. Now I will simulate both paths, and this will be the end of the demonstration. I hope this has been informative for you as you use the profile milling capabilities in RhinoCam by Mexoft. Thank you.